addressing Trump, okay? Thousands and thousands of people marching peacefully, right? Good people who just wanted to be heard. And there was like 10 Antifa punks that were breaking windows, burning things down. That's all you heard. In the, that's all you saw. That's all you heard. But you say you don't understand why people uh, per perceive you as a white supremacist or alt-right. Or, <laughs> but, but, but yet you... you young come on. Young uh, hang on, hang on. But yet, yet, yet... Let him talk. Hey, guys. Let him get his questions out. Let him get his questions out. So, but yet you invited Cal Chapman to speak. Um, white supremacists have showed up at your rallies. How is what Cal Chapman okay. a white supremacist? Uh, so, Cal Chapman has uh, said on social media that he's a white nationalist. Cal Chapman has espoused violence against these Antifa folks. Cal Chapman has been captured on video doing violence. I am all for I am protecting Antifa just to get because you're all marked. Can I answer? Yeah, yeah, please. We don't have much time, guys. Hey, hey, guys. Listen. 18 months of Antifa violence. Listen. Yeah, you just say shit. Kyle Chapman is a really good guy who I love and I appreciate very much. He is not racist, okay? He has a, a, a beautiful Japanese wife. He has a Japanese kid. I've seen him with tons of people of color. He does not care who you are. He cares about what you believe in. And he has used, he does believe in self-defense, okay? If you have a problem, if you have a problem with self-defense. People like this guy right here, man. I mean. Okay. Anyone else have questions? Right. Anyone else have questions? Because, no. because Has anybody realized why we're in this area right now? Yes, we did. Nobody no. We're here because of Antifa and BAM and BLM. They want to attack us because of our freedom of speech. It's a no-brainer. We're here in, a, in, in nowhere, in the middle of nowhere, so we don't have the violence. We don't want the violence. And we have gentlemen like this that keep edging it on about white supremacy. I'm not a white supremacist. When are you going to figure it, it out? I mean, seriously. Like this I'm Marxist, I mean, if you, if you, if you have, hold on, please, please, please. If you have Donald J. Trump come out and say that he does not support white supremacy, he has to say it a million times and you still will not get it. Here's another speaker that was not allowed to talk. Hey, guys. My name is Rio Gavi. Uh, you know, this has been really frustrating for the last couple of weeks. Um, we've seen the mayor, uh, we've seen Nancy Pelosi continually put out uh, misinformation that this was going to be a white supremacist rally, that these were going to be hate speech spoken there, that there were neo-Nazis coming, um, and nothing that I've heard Joey say in the past couple months is anything close to that. Um, nothing I had to say uh, today was going to be anything close to that. Uh, I wanted to talk about issues in the black community. I want to talk about issues with trans people homeless people in the street. Um, so it's, sorry, I got emotional. <laughs> it's, um, Let it out, bro. Let it out. you know, you know, there's a lot of issues in the Bay Area. You know, here in California, we have the sixth largest economy in the world. And yet we can continue to point fingers at Trump, 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 and do this misinformation in, you know, in the smoke screen and like have these phantom demons of like, oh, white supremacists are going to march in the street, and here come the neo-Nazis. We have more than enough resources to take care of our own, and yet we still continue to like point our fingers at the federal government when we really have all the money, you know. So when I when I go through San Francisco streets and I see blocks and blocks and blocks of like tent cities in Oakland and in Berkeley, and I wonder who's at fault, you know. We can't point our fingers at neo-Nazis for shit like that, you know. We can't point the finger at white supremacists or Klan leader, you know, members or or the Confederate flag, you know, the issues are right here. The issues, you know, we have a democratically, you know, a democratic mayor, congresswoman, you know, I just heard yesterday, uh, Barbara Lee, 13th District, Alameda County, say once again that it was a neo-Nazi rally. You know, when we, uh, it, it's, it's so frustrating that when we misdirect, you know, the true issue um, of issues that we can solve, and, you know, and I'm, I'm happy that everyone came out to protest, you know, they're having a good time in San Francisco right now, but nothing that was going to be said on the stage today was anything close to being hateful. Proudly serving you, Insurance Commissioner Mike Causey, a champion for consumers. At Aspen Dental, smile for zero money down with zero worries, plus pay zero interest if paid in full within... Close to being hate speech. There were no neo-Nazis showing up. I'm black myself. I'm, I consider myself like a liberal left-leaning centrist. Um, and, and there was a lot of things that I really wanted to get out and, and talk about oppression and, and talk about, you know, hate, you know, hatred, you know, in our community and, and as abroad. 
and I didn't get that opportunity because the mayor, Nancy Pelosi, spent so much time, you know, putting out this misinformation. And even when they were told otherwise, they doubled down. You know, hey, Ryogo, don't you think it's a bigger issue that the Congress moved, that Nancy Pelosi was asking? Don't you think it's a bigger issue that Nancy Pelosi was saying about this, about this, the, the rally we were supposed to have? She said, you guys cannot cry wolf in a crowded theater. Don't you think that's a bigger issue that we actually have senile people running in the government today? Uh, absolutely. You know, I, I don't even see, again, I don't see where that comes from. You know, crying wolf, like. Crying wolf in a crowded theater. Yeah, that, that, that wasn't the case. <laughs> yes, sir? You know, we're not in a vacuum here. Charlottesville is fresh on a lot of people's minds. Absolutely. Right? And so then you guys went forward with this event after Charlottesville. You can imagine people who don't even know the issues were anxious about it. Yes. Right. Actually, so actually, actually this, this event was scheduled before Charlottesville. Yeah. As I said, you went forward. Way before event. Charlottesville. The only reason right. why... You went forward, right? No, no. Right. We had to schedule before Charlottesville. We're going to continue. We're going to continue because we have nothing to do with Charlottesville. The white supremacists are not here. Why are the white supremacists are not here? Why should we? Why, why did that got? What does that have to do with us? Because it's timing. It's in context. What about liberals going forward? But, but what does it have to do with us? It has nothing to do with us. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure there was a rally right after. Right after they burned down Berkeley, and liberals didn't didn't say, "Oh, it's bad timing." So. What if, <laughs> so what about what about the rally that's happening right now in San Francisco? What, so is that so? How come so? Why, how come they're not? How come they're not drawing white supremacists? How come they're not drawing white supremacists? How come they're not drawing white supremacists? Why are we drawing white supremacists? I mean, are you kidding me? Look at me! Look at me! And where the white supremacists? Are they? Are they? The only the only people that we're drawing to to be violent are these Antifa ISIS members. That's the only people that we're bringing. The Antifa ISIS members. Been at every Patriot prayer in past events. There have been folks who identified as white supremacists as it's acknowledged. Yeah, I want I want Times people. Let me explain something to you. So, why, why is it that when Antifa does the stuff that they do, no one ever speaks okay, out against we, them? We, Be quiet, please. The why is it that Antifa doesn't? Hammer. Why is it when Antifa goes and burns down the country? Why is it we don't have politicians that come up and say, "Hey, Antifa, you need to not protest for however long because they just burnt May Day. They just burnt things down." Be quiet, please. Tony, I want you to come up here and say something. Okay, he was another speaker. Hello, everybody. Uh, Talofa. Um, uh, I'm known by a lot of these people as Tiny. My real name is Tusitala Johnswa Falau Tulilangito Ese. Do you want me to spell that out? T U S I T A L A S U A F O A J O H N T O E S E. I am uh, 21 years old from the island of American Samoa. Spent three years for me up here. Um, I was uh, supposed to be speaking at this rally. That has been canceled, um, and it's right now. It's emotion. Emotions are just flowing wild right now because um, just don't understand anymore. Um, when did our country ever get to this kind of point where standing up for free speech makes you a racist, makes you a white supremacist, fighting for freedom? How Cunningham says he doesn't want to talk about his personal matter. That he wants to concentrate on the issues. But for me, character is an issue. A top issue. I'm supposed to be sending you to Washington to represent me and my family? When Cunningham said he wouldn't raise taxes, and then he did, that's a typical politician. But this, this is different. Tells me everything I need to know about Cal's character. Senate Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Hey, hey, stop clicking around because I need to show you this right now. Now, there's a lot going on right now, and some people are concerned. Make sure you're neo Nazi. When? And if that's the case, if, being, if standing up for my freedom and my rights and standing up for free speech is wrong, then I don't want to be right. I will stand up for what I believe in. And I'm going to tell you this. I used to be one of these people, well not Antifa, but I used to be an anti-Trump, hardcore anti-Trump. And if I was still the old me, I would beat up all these people, because that's what I used to do. i drive around when Trump was, like he, he, he announced it that he was running for president. I drove around looking for Trump supporters. 
You got a Trump sticker on you, I'll be waiting at your car. Once you get there, I'll beat your ass up if you talk back to me when I talk shit to you. Tiny, That's what, what I used to be. What made you switch, Tiny? I saw on the media, every single news, they announced Trump is a racist. They told this. They brought, like, they cut out most of the speech that Trump did and brought only some of it just to make people think he was racist. I really believe that. I really believe that. So I was out. I was filled with anger. So I came across one of the videos on Facebook. It says, Trump rally in Vancouver, Washington. I'm like, I live there. Let's go check it out if Trump supporter gets speed up. It was the opposite. I saw this guy right here. And what he was speaking about, the peace, the unity, and everything, it hit me right in the dome. So I had a, I had a, I had an urge and a desire to go out and seek the truth. Are they really racist? So I hit him up. He hooked me up with a few people. I came here. Berkeley the 15th, April. That's where I saw the truth. First time I ever saw a brown Trump supporter, Margaret Kateris, Harim. I knew right there and then, they're not racist. Nobody came up to me. I was like, hey, get out of here. You're brown. You're not accepted here. Nobody. They welcomed me with open hands. And it changed my heart. And it hurts me that standing up for what you believe in will get you crucified, will get you prosecuted. Tony, you're friends with uh, Baseman. Uh, so when did our country get to this? And I'm telling you, we will not back down. We will keep on standing. What did you see on April 15th? Who, who was attacking who? I didn't even throw a punch at the beginning when I was observing everything. Next thing you know, a group that everybody said it was Antifa, I didn't know what Antifa was, marching looking like ninjas from the movie, whatever movie, like ISIS. The stupidity that I saw there coming in and just charging at people and just beating them up without even talking to them and understanding what they believe in, that changed my heart. I didn't, wanna, I didn't want my kids to grow up in an environment run by those people. That is why I'm standing where I'm standing. And I will say this. I will not change what I believe in. I will keep on standing. I will keep on moving forward. Red, white, and blue, waving high. God bless America. Amen, brother. Yeah. Amen. I just, uh, I just want to state that um, the security measures that were in place at first would allow us to screen out any Nazis, any extreme right groups, or any extreme left groups. And uh, the, the, uh, the authorities, law enforcement, removed that ability and wanted the crowds to intermingle. So that pr proposed a dangerous situation for everybody attending the rally, protesters and rally goers. So without that ability to, uh, without that ability to screen out uh, so-called racists and everybody, we wouldn't be able to keep a safe environment. So that's one of the main reasons that led us up to can uh, canceling the event. But I have one question for all you media here. I, I want to know that I want you guys to know that you're part, of, you're responsible for the environment in this country right now. You have to ask yourselves the part that you play in what's going on in this nation, the the, the political environment and the in aggression and the hatred that's being portrayed by the media. You guys play a part in it, and you're responsible for it. And when there's no more a free America, there's no more peaceful America in this war, then you can ask yourself how you let it come to this and how you made those decisions to let this happen, how you guys perpetuated this. Do you think there's going to be Gabe, war? Gabe, really quick, question. Do you think there's going to be what, war? Well, let me ask really quick, because you guys have like affirmed a thousand times that you're not white supremacist. We can't denounce it enough times to I get know, it through. So i got to ask you this, because they keep asking the question, why do you think they keep doing Cal Cunningham talks honor, but he's just another political hypocrite. My life is awesome. But it wasn't always that way. I've been wasting my... Let me it's a narrative. It's a narrative. Let me answer that. Let me answer that. Me answer that. Me answer that. The reason... The, the, main, the, main reason the main reason why they keep coming at us about white supremacy, because for the last two years, I've been saying there's an attack on white people in America is a deliberate attack on white people in America. If you go out and you say you're a Trump supporter today, you're automatically racist. Why? Because you're white. They don't say that to me because I'm black. I don't ever hear that I'm racist because I'm black. There are black racist people in America. We've got to stop this. There's an attack right now. That's the reason why they're saying it.
go back, you you at you said that there the media needs to do this, or else there's going to be when they're born in America, it'll be uh, the media's fault. I said they need to ask themselves how they per played a part in perpetuating sure. perpetuating uh, it. Switch words or anything. Do you believe there's going to be a war in America? That's my question. Um, I, I think that you can go out to any Starbucks or any restaurant anywhere in America right now, and you will see people of all different ethnic backgrounds, uh, you know, just going along about their day with no problem in their daily life. I don't believe that there's an issue as the media is trying to portray it. But do you believe that there, we're headed towards a war? Right now, the war, the, right now, the war is the info war. That's the war that we're in right now. I appreciate you standing up there because uh, we have not had a chance to ask. Okay, okay. What, what's, what's your, your question? question? Please understand it's our job to just ask. Questions. What's your question? It's not your job. 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 It's why, why are the, pro the, the, the rallies at the Civic Center, why are all the rallies that are happening, why is the violence against police being reported right now in the city that has nothing to do with us or any of our uh, Patriot Prayer supporters, why is that not being addressed and why is that not too soon? Are you guys going tomorrow to Berkeley? Any, any, uh, representatives? Berkeley is canceled tomorrow. So you're no Patriot Prayer? Uh, no. What is your next step then? I mean, obviously you saw what happened when you tried to hold the rally here. Where do you go from here? Well, I'm, a, I'm an activist. I've been an activist for at least a decade. And I, I, act, I sit in the committees at the Capitol in Sacramento. Uh, I sit at the legislative hearings all the time, and I witness what's going on. And I've always been an advocate of participation in legislative process. But what makes you patriot prayer? Uh, I'm not patriot prayer. Joey Gibson's Joey, patriot prayer. We have a question from Joey Gibson about... Really? Uh, Joey, what, what can is you next talk for Patriot Prayer? What's that? What is next for Patriot Prayer? This all fell apart after so many weeks of putting it together. What, what is next? Where do you go from here? Oh, we got lots of things planned. You know, I'm going to be speaking all over the state uh, next week. We have a, we also have a march in uh, Portland. Um, basically going to have like a debate thing going on in Portland, um, bringing people together. Because the thing about Antifa, as soon as you get them on a microphone, they get really shy. Okay, they run off. So we're going to bring in like real moderate liberals and, and Democrats and conservatives who want to march on the waterfront and kind of have debates along the way. So that's the thing. And then, you know, I'm going to be, we'll be going around doing videos, traveling, speeches here and there. Um, we'll go from there. How I really do don't see this as a loss. I see this as, a, as an opportunity for America to wake up, to understand. Okay? We, can't, we can't let people silence others, especially when we have such a positive message. Joey, did you care at all that 3% and those keepers? decided not to come. Stuart Rhodes said specifically it was because you wouldn't, you, Stuart Rhodes said this, not me, said that it was because you were going to allow white suprem a white supremacist speaker from Identity Europe. Stuart Rhodes, he, didn't he say is that. not a hotbed of liberal he didn't say media. That. Stuart Rhodes is very anti-racist and he's, he's a very good guy. Um, I'm in communication with him and he knows for a fact that I wasn't allowed any white supremacist so, in. So why did Stuart so Rhodes not come? We have people why on Facebook him. Live asking, what do you believe in? If you don't want the media to filter it at all, your chance right now, what is the message that you have hoped to get out today? My message is really simple. It's about bringing this country together. It's, it's simple, okay? It's about love, peace, and freedom. It's these things that everyone can come together under, okay? Listen, we think someone else is an enemy because they voted for someone else, okay? That, we can't think that way. We need to bring good people together. If you're a conservative and you think someone's your friend just because he calls himself a conservative, you are wrong, okay? There's good people and bad people in every single group, and we've got to drop the labels. Okay, so we get people together, the moderates get them together, and that's how we go after the corruption, okay, the deception, and all the lies in D.C., or state government, or local, whatever, okay? Do you, do you regret the water going forward with What's that? that? Yeah, I'm a huge advocate for freedom, which tends to be in the middle. I stand on principle, one thing to another, you know, it's like, I, I want freedom. That's one of the most important things for me. You can go talk to him. Go talk to him. Any other questions? Because you would allow a bottom line joke to play behind him. About unity. How would this rally have brought people together, and what is your message of unity going forward? It's going to be consistent. It's going to be about building bridges, okay? And that's why I can't be like really political. I can't be talking about you know tax rate should be this or that. No, we have to first come together and agree to be respectful to one another. We have so much hatred in this country right now. It's done on purpose. And with that hatred, we cannot go forward. Okay? There's no president, there's no leader that can fix our problem at a grassroots level. No one. It has to be amongst us. We need cultural leaders. We need people, individuals to stand up for what's right. We need people to come up here and say, hey, 
it's not okay to lie. It's wrong to be to, to call us white supremacists when that's a lie. Right or left, it doesn't matter. Have that's how we go forward. Yes, we need to talk about morals and the government, you know, let's be honest, they're not gonna help us with our morals. Joey, how have leftists reacted to your call for you to be impeached? Um, a lot better than I thought. Uh, we have the extremists who hate it on both sides, okay? I get a lot uh, I get a lot of extreme right people who don't like it. I get extreme left people who don't like it. But moderates are moderate Democrats, okay, don't have a voice right now because they're quiet and they're letting the social justice warriors, they're letting the extremists be the loudest, the minority, okay? Most moderate liberals are, are for free speech and for freedom, okay? But they don't speak out against it for whatever reason. I mean, they're shy or whatever, they're afraid okay? Of being they're afraid of being called racist, Nazi, whatever it may be. But I'm here. I want to give a home to moderate Democrats. I want to say, hey, you're welcome to be with us, to say what you want, to say what you believe, and we're not going to make fun of you. We're not going to make you feel bad. If you believe in freedom and love, man, you're, hey, Work together. We can so work together. Do you think it's a double standard for uh, journalists to ask why we went forward with this rally after Charlottesville when there was national refused fascism marches happening right after Steve Scalise, Scalise got shot by a Bernie supporter? Well, the media. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Man. <laughs> That's the thing, though, is, is is the media. Obviously, we all know the media has a tendency to lean, you know, more towards no. um, what, right. yeah, what it was put one way or the other. But um, right. but let, let's be honest. We need to put attention on the extremists on both sides, okay? That's how we bring the moderates together. If the moderate the left, kick out their extremists? The, the Democrats and the moderate left, they need to speak out and they need to kick out the corrupt politicians and the, the corrupt politicians who are using Antifa as a tool, They're using BAM as a tool. This lady is literally a middle school teacher and she's directing kids sure. to bash in heads. Yvette Valarca, her name is Yvette Valarca. 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 What evidence do you have? Proudly serving you, Insurance Commissioner Mike Causey, a champion for consumers. At Aspen Dental, smile for zero money down with zero worries. Plus pay zero interest if paid in full. There's always, there's always a million ways to improve. Um, you know, I'm just a rookie. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm working, I'm trying to learn and grow. And I will learn from this experience. Um, you know, I've made plenty of mistakes going into this, and so all I got to do is is admit that, analyze it, and move on, and, and just be a better person. And my second question is, what plans do you personally have for Berkeley tomorrow? We got to analyze the situation once again. We don't want to walk into a trap. Okay, that's the main thing. We don't want to go in there and start and start a huge riot. You know what I mean? It, that's the most important thing. We want free speech. We want to be able to say our peace, but at the same time, it has to be on our grounds. It has to be on uh, it has, we have to be in control of the situation, okay? And so if we're walking into a trap and they just stir up a huge riot, okay, it's not good for our country. It's going to take it in the wrong direction. So we'll see what the plans are. Um, yeah, and, and we got to take care of each other, okay? We don't, we don't want people to die, okay? So you and you have, to remember, you have to remember, Berkeley has been canceled. Yeah. Berkeley so you said that the media canceled. is... What's your plan for today? Because um, I know there's been a lot of flip-flopping for Spirit Christian Fields and all about Square. Um, do you have any intention? Late. Yeah, we'll be showing up, or I'll, I for sure will be showing up in random spots in San Francisco. My hope is to be able to talk to just normal citizens, okay, without all the extremists. I want to be able, I want to show up. I want them to see my shirt, and I want to say, hey, you know, what's your concern? What do you have? You know, I'll show up, you know, and then I'll disappear and go somewhere else, and that's the thing. That, that's the the way that the country we live in now is that I have to go from spot to spot unannounced. Otherwise, we'll have a thousand ninjas show up trying to kill me. So. And then once you figure out. I want people to take this message of love and unity and take it to whatever they're, they're great at. If you're a teacher, take that. If you want to go run for mayor, go do that, okay? So I want bring people in, talk about this message of love, okay? Come together on that, then go do your thing, okay? Be a better teacher. Be, better, be a better waitress. Be better to the people you serve. Be better at whatever it may be. Whatever you choose, whatever your identity is, whatever you're good at, go. Go do it. Joey, why do you think that the media... If they want to be, if that's what their desire is, but like I said, I'm here to fight this, this cultural poison. Okay, we fix that, then our government will follow. Okay, we, we don't reflect our government, our government reflects us and our culture. So, okay? why do you think the media, moderate Democrats, and our academia complex supports a group, Antifa, that uh, openly brandishes the sickle and hammer emblem and insignia, which has killed over 100 million people in the 20th century, yet are very quick to call out the one Nazi LARPer in, in, a, in a rally? I don't know why people believe that 
Hitler was worse than Stalin. In my opinion, I think that's not logic. I think that they're both evil people that just want to control. They're just tyrants. That's what it is. And so we have to get away from the idea. A tyrant is a tyrant, okay? And we need freedom. And that's, that's what concerns me. I don't want a corrupt government that gets so big and just gets so much power and we just keep giving them more power and more power because we're fighting over stupid stuff, okay? So we got to fight, yes, communism, okay? Even whatever, Nazis, whatever. At the end of the day, I just want a small government then there will be no tyrants and we will be free people in a free society who can respect one another. Joey, why is the, why is the media... So, I'm sorry, left okay. we've, no been, we've been told right? that Antifa, yeah. ISIS I members done, are on their way here. So you, you might want to clear out if, unless you want to see here, be here for that violence. But we don't want to be here because we did not come here for the violence. Ask yourself one more question. Who questioned Nancy Pelosi? Where did she get the white supremacists from? Because I'm asking her. I would like to know that answer. Thank you.